Hello boys and girls, welcome to the last session of the Sudoku for the Young. If you can understand the last two sessions, you'll be ready to push on to other puzzles and learn more tricks. Today, I'm doing the same puzzle as I did in the last session, but I'm going to do it in a different way, just to show you different ways of solving. If you look at this puzzle, you'll see that there are red numbers. They are the numbers that we calculated last time or we solved last time using TMB. Now I'm going to continue on using LCR with a blue pen and show you how to look for another number once you put in a new number. One of the rules I always tell my students and seniors that I teach as well is that when you put in a new number, always look to see if that number will help you get another number. Watch how we do this. So, I'm going to now, we've done TMB with the reds, now we're going to go LCR with RAM or ramifications, looking for other numbers that we could get as a result of getting a new number. Let's look at the ones. We have one, one, one. They are there, centre, right, left. Twos, we have a right, we have a left, and we have a centre here, so this could become a two. And was, I want to show you that now that we've got the two there, you now have, if you're looking across this way, using TMB, you have a bottom, you have a middle, and you can have a top over here. So you could have a little two there, a little two there, and now we look up or down to see if there's a two in those columns. Is there a two in this column? No. Is there a two in this column? Yes, there is. So this cannot be a two. We cannot have two repeated. So this one has to be the real two. So that's an example of looking for ramifications whenever you put in a new number. Let's go to three now. Three. Uh, the, with the little number threes, you can't do much. You have to leave it. Fours. There's only one four here. Can't do much with that. Five. There are two fives. There's a five here and there's a five here. So it's right, centre, left. This becomes a five. Now, once I put in that new number, I look across. And guess what? There is a possibility now that we can do something because we have a bottom we have a middle, this five, so we can have two little fives in here. Now we look down the columns to see if there's a five. There's no fives, but don't worry, leave the fives there. That'll be fixed up later, probably. Okay, now there's a good another example of looking for extra numbers or little numbers that you can get once you put in a new number. Let's look now at three, uh, five, uh, sixes, sixes, we're up to sixes. Sometimes when I see that there's, an, uh, there's a possibility of ramification, I'll put, I was at five, so I put that up there and that tells me where to, that I can come back to six. So here's a six, a six, centre, left, right. They're all there. Sevens. We have two sevens, we have a seven here. And in the centre, we have a 7 here on the left, so we could have a 7 here or a 7 there. Now we look across here and see if there's a 7. No, there isn't. Okay, 8s. We have an 8 here, an 8 here. There's no 8 here. Right, centre, left, this becomes an 8. And do you know what, boys and girls? I'm going to put this up the top because I can tell you, I can see right now, this 8 is going to give us lots of other numbers. Let's look at it carefully. First of all, we use TMB in along the bottom, this way. We look both ways, we were, we, but this time we'll look that way as well. Eight, bottom, top. Eight could be here or here. Now let's look up. Oh, I notice, or do you probably notice this? There's an eight up in here in this column. So this cannot be an eight. This becomes our 8. Very good. Now, let's not leave it at that. Look up and you'll see that there's two 8s in here. So therefore we can use LCR to get another 8. Here's an 8 on the left. Here's an 8 on the centre. We can put an 8 over here. 
Now guess what? When we look at that eight, we look left across here and we see there's an eight here and there's an eight here. We can put an eight in up in, in the top here, bottom, middle, top. We can put an eight there, an eight there, an eight there. But let's look up and down. This is interesting. Look, there's an eight here, so you can't have that. That, that can't be an eight. And there's an eight down in here, so this can't be an eight. So therefore, this one is the one that has to be an eight. Now, wasn't that neat? That's just so exciting when you go boom, 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 get all kinds of numbers. We've gone all around the puzzle almost to, to get those. Now we have to remember where we were. We were putting on the eight here, and we put this eight in. But you know what I noticed? When we put that eight in, we have a block with only one left. So let's fill it in. If you see a chance to put in a number, put it in. You never know where it could lead you. Watch. Here's, this is a one, two, this is a three. Now, what does that three do? Ramification for ram or ram. Immediately, up here, you go up this column, that three cannot be there anymore because we've already got a three. Therefore, this three has to be a real three. So we can erase that and make that into a real three. Now, you may say, oh, I saw that gap going up here before. If you did, great. But here we found it this way. Yes, sometimes you can solve a number different ways. Okay, now, oh, well, that was fun. We were up at eight. Well, let's go to nine now. See, that helped me. Nine, left, right, center. This has to be a nine. Good. So now we've done left, right, and center, left, uh, LCR on these vertical columns. Now we'll do these vertical blocks with one to nine. Here's a one, there's a one, there's a one, already there. Right, center, left. Here's a two, here's a two, there's a two, already done. Three. There's only one, three. Oh dear. So leave it. Four. There's no fours. You can't do anything with the little ones. Five. Gee, there's no fives. Six. 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 Now watch this. I'm going to put six up in here just to help me remember. This means that this becomes the six. See? Center, left, right. If that becomes the six, this becomes the five. Now, what's the ramifications of that? Let's have a look. Now, if you look across this way, we have a 6 here in the middle, have a 6 there on the top. Using TMB, this has to become a 6. Neat, eh? Okay. Now, what about the 5? Let's look down. Is there any 5s down in here? No, there's not. So we can't do anything with the 5s. So we're up to 6. Now let's go to 7. No, 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 there's only one seven. Let's, we'll leave it. Eight. Well, we've done the eights. Right, left, center. Nine. There's two nines, a right and a left. You can put a nine here, or you can put a nine here. Now, you look to the right and look to the left to see if there's a nine. If you look to the right, there's nothing there, and right, there's nothing there, but look this way. Boom, boom, boom. What have we got here? We've got a nine. So that means this cannot be a nine. This has to become the nine. Wasn't that neat, huh? Okay, so we've now gone to one to nine uh, using uh, LCR on the second set of blocks, vertical blocks. Now it's time to go to um, this set of blocks. I'm just looking to see if there's something we can fill in right away. Not right, right away, but anyway. So let's push on. This is a one, right, center, left. Twos, we have left, right, center. Threes, well, we only have one three. Okay, leave it. Fours, we have two fours. We have a left, we have a, a center, and this becomes the right. Now... This is getting really interesting. I'm going to put four up in here now because that's what I'm doing over here now. Four, look what happens. There's several things I can see. You may be able to see them straight away too. 
Let's first of all look at this four, this row here. There's only one left, and the number is three. And we could have put this in when we did this here. We had right, left, we could have put two threes in here. So it has to be a three there. Now, that's one thing because of that four. But this block only has one left, and it's a four. One, two, three, four. Now what's the ramification of that four? Many things. Because of this four and that four, we can put a two little fours in here and look down. Is there anything? No, there isn't. But because of this four, we did that, we went that direction. Now we're going to go this direction. And there's a four here and there's a four here. We've got two of them. So that means in this block here, we can have a four here and a four there. Now, Look to the right. There's a four here. So that means this cannot be a four. This has to be the four. And this has to be the seven. Wow. Now because we did that seven, what are the ramifications of that? Look, it's middle, top, bottom. This becomes a seven. We could have also worked it out because there was only one left along there. And if that's because we put that seven in, we can say, well, here's a seven and there's a seven. This block hasn't have, doesn't have a seven. Left, right, centre. That can become a seven. All because of this four. All because of that four. I must have touched it. Now, when I put this four in, there's so many things, to, to things that are showing up now. This has got to be a three because it's the only one left in that row. Because we put that three in, we now have got a three here and a three here. So we have a left and a right. Therefore, we can put two threes down in here. See how that worked? Fine, now we, were, we got up to four. Is there anything else we can do with the four? Ah, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this. We have we put that three in, we now have two threes here, so we can have a three, four here. We, could, we don't know which ones are which yet, because we look down, is there a three down in those? No, there isn't. Go, going back to where I said the three's going down in here, we've got a three here and a three here. Is there a three along here? No. Okay, we'll go to, uh, we're up to four, we'll go to fives. There's only, whoa, look, look at this row here. There's only one left, and it's a five. Look at that column left. There's only, it's a five. So we'll put that five in, and boy, that'll help us with the fives, because we now have a right, we have a left, and we have a center. Okay, now let's push on a bit further. Let's go to the sixes. We have a right, we have a left, we have a center, we're all there. Let's go to the sevens. We have a seven here, a seven here, a right, a left, and a center. So a seven could be here or here, but let's have a look over here. Can you see that there's a seven there? That means that this cannot be a seven over here. It has to be a three, and this becomes a seven. So we'll make this a seven, and this a three. Now that we have those, we have all the sevens along here. We go this left. Let's take the three and go this way. Uh, there's a three here, and there's a three here, that means that this becomes a three. Way to go. Because that becomes a three, let's look up. Zzz, oops, here's a three here. We can't have a three there. It has to be a four. So that becomes a four. And therefore, this, that was a pun, therefore, this becomes a three. Now, we've got all kinds of things starting to happen now. Let's take the five. Let's see if the five will help. Oh, oh there's here. Just a minute. We were up to seven here. We didn't do the... Well, let's go. We were up to seven, weren't we? Let's do the eights. Eight, eight, eight. The eights are there. The nine, right, centre. Here's, this becomes a nine. That's great. Good. Now, when we put this five in here, we forgot to look this direction. If you look this direction, that five... Top, bottom, this has to be a five. Now that, now this is interesting, now that we've got one left in here, in this block, it has to be a four, 
One. Now because we got a four there, we can go four, four, four. This becomes a four. If we got that as a four, let's count up in this block and it should become a five. Let me see. Here's a five in the top, five in the bottom. This has to be a five. Well, I never. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. You know what, boys and girls? I think we've solved it just by doing what we call look for a number, another number when you have got a new number. Look how we, we went right through that puzzle. Now, boys and girls, I think you should be really happy with yourself. Congratulate yourself if you've understood what I did today because this was more complicated. You are now ready to go on to adult puzzles. And my suggestion is that you go to the YouTube, look up Sudoku Guy, and go to one of his, uh, his lessons. Lesson one and lesson two, you can, you'll understand very easily. Maybe lesson three. And uh, if you open up a actual puzzle, down on the left-hand corner, about this side, down in here somewhere on the video, is the name Sudoku Guy. If you click on that one, it'll take you to my channel that shows you all the different puzzles and lessons and tricks, tutorials. So thank you for joining me on this course. Have fun. Bye for now.